and picked up the Polish international Gregor Krikowiak from Sevilla, played under the new PSG coach Unai Emery, of course, with the Spanish club last season. Hatem Ben Arfa has come in on a free transfer from Nice. As uh, PSG look to break through here, and they will. It's an opening goal inside two minutes. Jonathan Ikone, the 18 year old, who's come through the ranks at Paris Saint Germain and beginning to impress on this pre season tour of the United States. It's Real Madrid nil, Paris Saint Germain won. Well, it's a terrific run, isn't it, for Ikone? I mean, I think the Real Madrid uh, defensive qualities were, were really lacking. They've not started the game at all well, but Ikone comes across. And then you see this challenge here for Marcello. It's a really poor effort, and in the end, Ikone puts it away on his right foot. Cool under pressure, just slides it into the back of the net. But really poor defending. Look at that challenge for Marcello. It's a really poor goal from Real Madrid's point of view, but a great start for Paris. Unai Emery, new head coach. Delighted, of course, with the start. Free kick taken quickly by Rabiot. Ferran a little slow to read it. He eventually got the block in. This is Mounier. Oh, it's a superb strike! from Thomas Mounier. His first goal for Paris Saint-Germain, the summer signing from Club Bruges. And absolutely no chance for Kiko Garcia. Real Madrid nil, Paris Saint-Germain two. Well, what a goal, what a strike. What a way to announce yourself to the Paris fans. Mounier. I mean, they kept the ball alive, Paris. That was the great thing about this. They never gave up. They lost the ball, but they're pressurising. They've won it back. And what a strike this is. Casilla's got no chance whatsoever. And it's with his left foot for a right back. Oh, it's a great strike. Top corner. No keeper's going to save that. Wonderful strike. Well, it was a mere token effort from Casilla. He knew that that ball was moving further and further away from his right hand as Munier cut across the ball to spectacular effect there. Real Madrid with it all to do now. Caligari. Here is Aurier again. Pastore finding Munier. Lucas, it's great stuff from Paris Saint Germain. It's Thomas Munier. And he's got a second. And they're taking Real Madrid apart here. Too cute, too quick. And stretching into a 3-0 lead now here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, he got a little bit of luck in the end, but uh, it's a well-worked move again, isn't it? Down this right-hand side. Munier. And once he's in, I think he's trying to play Cavani in. It comes back to him. And he's got the composure on that left foot again just to scoop it into the back of the net. But they just open up that Real Madrid defence again. They've looked so sharp, a lot more sharper, a lot more organised than Real Madrid. And Mounier on his debut, what, two goals? Fantastic. Oh, somebody better pinch him and tell him that this isn't a dream. £6 million pounds from Club Bruges, the Belgian international, in the summer. Two goals on his debut, and both with his swinger. Loss in this game of the Paris Saint-Germain captain, Thiago Silva. Understand there's going to be a minimum of three minutes extra added on. And it's 3-0 for Paris Saint-Germain. Marcelo. Good offer from Isco. Pears the handball and given. No great complaint from Serge Aurier. He's going to have a belated word with the referee, but it was an instant decision penalty Real Madrid. Well, I think he's saying he can't get out of the way of it. I think he's smacked at him. Let's see if he lifts his arm up. Yeah, he's lifted his arm up. He, you know, you can't do that. You can't make yourself bigger. You can't wave them arms around and uh, the ball hits him and the referee had no hesitation. No Cristiano Ronaldo in the Real Madrid squad. Or Gareth Bale to take the penalty. Captain tonight. 
give Real Madrid a lift. Yes, despite the best efforts of Kevin Trapp, just enough velocity in the left-footed effort from Marcelo, and Real Madrid have one back. Well, they need that goal to get back in this game and go in at half-time and give Zidane uh, perhaps a, a little bit easier of a team talk, but uh, Kevin Trapp, he nearly gets there, doesn't he? Anticipates where it's going to go. It'd be disappointing he hasn't got his hands to it. Yeah, you can see the disappointment the way he kicks the ball away, but uh, they needed that to get back in the game.